that's bullshit. Why wouldn't he ask me out again? We had an amazing time. He cuddled with me in the middle of the night. Even his subconscious wants to spend more time with me. No, you don't know him. You don't know anything about him. What is your problem, Catherine? Hey. Hey. Who are you talking to? Oh, no one. It was the radio. Yeah, I don't think I have a radio. Internet radio. Oh my god, they have all kinds of great channels, or stations, I think is what the kids are calling them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. Okay. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> I was talking to myself. It's no big deal. You call yourself Catherine? Fine. If you really want to know, it uh, seems that I have just created an imaginary friend to talk about last night with. Well, friend is the wrong word. She's actually kind of a bitch. Can we just forget the whole thing? What are you doing? You're making sure I'm not dreaming and that the world's hottest body is, in fact, lying next to me. You're not dreaming. Am I? Maybe. Does your dream include being whisked away to a luxury resort for a romantic weekend getaway? <laughs> well, then you're not dreaming. Oh, and he's got a grown-up place that he owns. Oh, and it's decorated really cute, but not too cute. I mean, he's definitely not gay. How's his body? Slightly worse than mine. Oh, ah, perfect. Right. Wait, no crazy ex-wife or kids lurking around? Oh, no. He, he was engaged once, but she was a nail technician, so it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. He says that he's dated a lot, but that he was starting to worry that if he didn't want to end up alone, he'd have to settle until he met me. Oh, well, I think it's obvious you you found Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. You really think so? Yeah. I mean, I know it's only been three dates, but sometimes you just know, right? Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, what, what do you, um, Catherine and Heather think of him? I don't know. No, I haven't seen those guys in a few days, at least. Hmm. Seriously? Seems like I hustle just to keep this music fit. Well, because sometimes when I'm listening to music, I can barely hear myself think, let alone the extremely faint ringing of my cell phone. It's like whispering. Thought I'd seen the last of you two. I am not helpless without you. I've been having an extremely rewarding, very real relationship, as if you didn't know. It's only been two days, and he is gonna call, because tomorrow is Friday, the day he is whisking me off to a fancy resort so that we can have mind-blowing sex and confess our eternal love all weekend long. Shut up, Heather. I am 93% positive that he did not hear that queef. But even if he did, so what? Sometimes our bodies make strange sounds when they're in use. It is not the sound of a crazy person. I'm sure that there is some other explanation, like he's tying up loose ends before our trip, or he got in a car wreck. No, he is not holed up in his apartment having anal sex with some other whore. You're here, aren't you, Catherine? But what if he did have an accident? Like, like he got up in the middle of the night and tripped over his coffee table on the way to the bathroom, hit his head, knocked himself unconscious, and he's lying on the ground bleeding to death. Hey, I wasn't the reality police when you wanted to believe that Tyrone's lesions were just jock itch. <laughs> what? No, that is a ridiculous idea and completely beneath me. I don't make the rules, Catherine. Shotgun, shotgun. Call it faster next time. See? Told you he wasn't in there having anal sex. Well, because the lights are off, and he is a visual stimulus guy.
Nobody has sex with night vision goggles and glow-in-the-dark paint. Ew. TMI, Heather. Ugh. This is stupid. I swore off drive-bys in high school and again in college. And that guy last year was in college, so it doesn't count as a new one. Well, because we're not learning anything here and what not to wear comes on in 10 minutes. Well, I think you and your message tees need some time in the 360 degree mirror. Yeah, of, co of course I want answers, but I'm not insane. I'm not breaking into, no. I guess it's not technically breaking and entering if he has a doggy door big enough for, yeah, like you're a size zero anymore. All right, I'll do it. But only to make sure he's not bleeding to death. If anything, it's an act of heroism. Like an EMT worker on 9-11. Yes, thank you. I connected those dots myself. He's just not that into me. I hated that stupid book. Catherine, he's ditching me. What's the point? What am I gonna do with compromising photos? Post them online? Does your dream include being whisked away to a luxury resort? I can't believe I fell for that crap. You didn't? Riley, oh my god. Are you all right? I tripped over a coffee table and knocked myself out for about 36 hours, but I'm... Um, my brother was right. Only crazy girls queef. 